Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to display interstitial ads for your Unity game using Unity's built-in ads. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Windows, go to uh, Package Manager, and download the advertisement package into your project, which I already did. Next thing you're going to want to do is right click, create a C Sharp script. I already did that, I called it ads with an uppercase A. I'm going to provide this script in the comments down below, make it easy for you guys. So make sure you're using Unity Engine Advertisement, the package that we installed. Make sure your public class name matches your script file name, in my case I called it ads, with an uppercase A. Be aware of this game ID number here, we're going to change this later. Make sure you have this line in the start function. So interstitial ads are ads that pop up during certain events, certain times of the game, say maybe if you win a round or if you lose a round. So you're going to be putting these two lines inside your own script whenever you want to show the ad. But for this tutorial, when I press the F key, I'm going to show the ad. So it's preferred that you put it inside the update function. So if you're using iOS, be aware of this ID right here. I'm using Android, so you would change this to iOS. I'll show you guys later. So go ahead and save that. Drag that script inside any game object inside your game, which I already did. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to Window, go to General, go to Services. It's going to ask you to select an organization, select one. Make sure you select the correct one, the one that you're using for your project. And then enable the ads right here, which I already did. It's going to ask you if this game is made for kids. You can skip that if you want. Now make sure you enable test mode here. Once you build the game, you would want to disable this. Go down to advanced. Make sure this is enabled as well. Now go to your dashboard. It's going to ask you to sign into Unity, sign in. And then over here, you'll select the correct project. For some of you, there might be a button here that says activation. Click that and activate the ads. Now go to the Add Units tab. So, as I was saying earlier, here's the ID for interstitial ads for Android, which I'm using for Android. But if you're using iOS, you would copy this and place that inside the script. So this game ID number here, this is important. We're going to copy this. I'm using it for Android, so I'm going to copy that. It's for Google Play Store. And you're going to place that inside the script here. You could also do it inside the inspector, which I did. So paste that there. When you build the game, you're also going to want to disable this as well. So now, everything should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and test. So my game started. I'm pressing the F key. This screen should pop up. That means everything seems to be working. So once you build the game, the ads should be popping up and just make sure you have internet access as well so yeah everything should be good to go so for some reason I don't see an edit placement button anywhere if inside the dashboard if you have that option click that and then you could edit how much money you want for that ad once people see it but for some reason I don't see it here if anybody knows why, please uh, leave me a solution in the comments down below. It would be really much appreciated. But if this video helped you guys out, please give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.